Part one, phonological awareness. When we think of phonological awareness, I want you to remember that it has to do with hearing sounds and hearing sounds and words. And phonological awareness activities involve skills and tasks and activities that are all auditory, meaning they're activities that can be done through spoken language or through hearing and listening. Um, there doesn't have to be any print in a phonological awareness activity. Here's the formal definition of phonological awareness. It's up at the top. It says, Phonological awareness is the ability to recognize and work with sounds in spoken language. Phonological awareness is an umbrella term that includes four developmental levels. Now we're going to go into these levels in, a, uh, in much more depth, but the basic, the basic idea is that there's four levels and they get progressively harder with, with it involving hearing sounds. There's the word level, the syllable level, the onset and rhyme level, and the phonemic awareness level. And we'll talk about each one, but you should know that the word level and syllable level, they're the most basic. Then we get onset and rhyme, a little bit more advanced, sort of intermediate, upper intermediate advanced. And then phonemic awareness is definitely the most advanced. That's the one involving hearing, identifying, manipulating individual sounds and words. We think of phonological awareness, and sometimes we say uh, it's an umbrella idea, meaning it's it's involving many skills. Phonological awareness is made up of many skills. Rhyming and alliteration are just some of the skills involved in phonological awareness. Hearing the syllables in a word are just some of the ideas. Identifying the individual phonemes in a word called phonemic awareness is just part of phonological awareness. Sometimes it helps to think about phonological awareness as like your hand. And each one of these skills is a finger in your hand. The most important one is your thumb, right? Without your thumb, you really, you, you can't do anything. Like, it's good to hear rhyme and alliteration, but it's, it's really important, think about your thumb, at, at being able to hear, identify, and manipulate those individual sounds and words. Without your thumb, without the ability to hear, identify, and manipulate individual sounds and words, it's going to be really hard for decoding and encoding. So, so we think about this, all these ideas go into phonological awareness, yes? And the most advanced one is hearing those individual sounds or phonemic awareness. Let's look at some of the skills involved in phonological awareness. Now we said before phonological awareness has to do with the ability to hear sounds and words. And it's an umbrella idea, meaning it's an idea that contains a lot of different skills involving hearing sounds. And they go, go from the most basic like hearing sounds and similarities and sounds on a word level to a little bit harder, hearing, hearing sounds like hearing the syllables within words. This is the syllable level. And then we have the onset and rhyme level. And then we have the most advanced level of phonological awareness, the individual phoneme level, or sometimes we say the phonemic awareness level. So I want you to think about this as uh, all, these are all skills under phonological awareness and uh, they have levels. Here, let's look at another slide. So here we have the word level, and these are the most basic, and these involve activities. Like you're gonna see, when I say an activity involving phonological awareness, think of this like a, a multiple choice scenario, right? You could have a multiple choice question where they have this scenario, where a child is asked, um, where they're trying to develop basic phonological awareness, and it has to do something with like rhyming and rhyming text. Like, can a child hear in a rhyming text that certain words like bat, hat, and cat, they have, uh, those are, uh, that's, um, they, those are rhyming. Can they hear that bat, cat, a hat rhyme? Or you're doing a rhyming text and can the child hear uh, alliteration? Like here we have bold, big, brown, bear. Okay, you, or you've heard uh, ninny, nanny, netty coat. That initial sound in a word is repeating. That's alliteration. So those are two scenarios where you have a scenario where you're dealing with a rhyming text where the ends of the words have sound the same or, or the uh, alliteration, the beginning part of a word sounds the same or another scenario involving basic word level phonological awareness. It's like, can a child segment the words in a sentence? Like here it says here, I see the dog. Can the child tell you that there's four different words in that sentence, I see the dog. So that would be something where they segment the words in a sentence. These are all basic phonological awareness skills, 
okay? And this is sort of level one, word level. We'll have a bunch of questions that we're gonna do in a moment involving just the word level. How about uh, the uh, syllable level? Now, this is when the child is able to maybe clap out the sounds they hear in a word. Like here it says, uh, how many sounds do you hear in the word baby? They'd, they'd clap it out, baby. Or uh, it says exercise, so we'd be clapping it out, exercise. Or my favorite one is uh, wonderful, wonderful. Now, notice that both of these are involving oral language. They're all auditory. There doesn't have to be any print. Like with the rhyming text, the children are hearing the, the words, the teacher's doing the read aloud, they're hearing it and they can hear, they're not reading the words, but they could hear that bat, cat and hat sound the same. Or the teacher doesn't, show, doesn't have to show them the word wonderful for the child to be like hearing the word wonderful, be like wonderful, right? So all these activities, uh, they exist purely in sound, in oral language and spoken word. There doesn't have to be a print component, okay? And, and you got to think also these activities are being done in preschool and in pre-kindergarten and, and, and in kindergarten. So there, these are this is an age group where the students aren't necessarily reading yet. So there's a lot of oral language development and phonemic awareness and phonological awareness development happening at this time. So right now, these are, these are just sound activities, sound activities, onset and rhyme. The onset, like in the word map, the onset is the initial part of a word. The rhyme is the end. Can a child identify the initial sound or in the end sound of a, of a word? Now, this is a little tricky. It's actually a single syllable word. And the onset represents that initial sound. But in, in that syllable, if it's a single syllable word, then it's the uh, initial part of a word before the vowel. So map, initial sound, and then the, the rhyme is the end or street would be the initial sound they hear here and the rhyme would be the end. Notice in map, in street, the m in map and the strut in street are both the, the, the onsets, right? The reason why this is considered uh, intermediate advanced is because we're identifying the initial sound in the word. In map, it's actually one phoneme. So technically they're isolating a phoneme, but in street, it's a blend. In the stra, there are three sounds here. Now we're not asking them in the word stra in, in street to isolate each phoneme in that blend. So right now, this activity of onset and rhyme where they identify the initial sound in a word in, in that syllable, that's considered, it's advanced, it's in intermediate advanced, right? It's not like we're asking them to identify in street the first sound, and then the t and the r, that would be segmentation. That'd be a little, that'd be one step up, a little harder, okay? All right, so word level, syllable level, onset and rhyme, and then finally the phoneme level. That's where we identify, uh, identify uh, initial sounds, medial sounds or middle sounds and end sounds in a word where we can segment those sounds, where we can blend them and manipulate those sounds. So we could take the word cat and identify the first sound as k and then change it to b and then say the word bat. So this would be an example of phoneme manipulation. Any activity or any question that you have that involves a, a phoneme, a sound, would be a phonemic awareness activity. And this is the most advanced one. So you got to keep that in mind. Okay, so as we go through these questions, what I want you to try and do is I want you to see the levels, word level. This is, I want you to be like, this is not only a phonological awareness question, but this is a phonological awareness question on the word level or phonological awareness question on a syllable level. But this is a phonological awareness question involving onsets and rhymes. Where this phonological awareness question is involving phonemic awareness, hearing, identifying, manipulating initials, uh, any sound in a word. Okay, so think of these things as we go through as the levels. I'll show you one more graphic just to get this, just to ingrain this, okay? So I'll just write down the levels here. We have the word level. We have the syllable level. You have hearing onsets and rhymes. So word level is hearing rhymes and alliteration and hearing the words in a sentence and spoken word. Syllable level is being able to count the number of syllables you hear in a word. 
um, onset and rhyme is being able to take a word, let's say the word street, and identifying the onset. This is the sounds that the sound or sounds that come before the vowel. And then the, the rhyme is the rest of it, the vowel and the ending. Uh, and then we get individual phonemes. If we're asked to identify a beginning sound in a word, like in cat, the, the initial sound is k. The medial vowel or middle vowel is a short A. We have that short A sound. Or that end sound or that final sound is t. So that's the most advanced. And then we have manipulation in, in, within that most advanced working with sounds. Then we have levels uh, within that. So, so as we go through these, think about word level, syllable level, onset and rhyme level, and phoneme level, okay?